All right, then. I'm James Carver. Welcome back to the first episode of the Infinity Gauntlet: How to Build It. I am inevitable. I have made a video on this, and I will leave a link in the description if you want to know all about it. In your first parcel, you get two parts. So this is one. So you get parts of the hand, one of the stones, not screwdriver. That's the important bit. And part two, which is the other side of the hand, another stone, and more. You get a nice little fan home leaflet, and this goes over about the prices. So I will show you that. That shows you how much you're gonna go over. Pause that if you want to redraw it. I won't go over it now. You get a nice little leaflet about the Infinity Garnet. It is sponsored by Marvel. They've actually licensed it. So once again, if you like to have a little read through that, I would suggest doing so. Another thing is, is like a little poster book. So that's the front, and on the back, it goes over about the exclusive stand you can get, which is quite exciting. More detail about the hand. And by the way, it's not plastic, it's made of metal. And it does show you the actual size of it. So yeah. That's all. Can we fit down? Yeah, I can. That's how big it's actually gonna look. So there it is compared to my hand. And now the only part I'm stuck with is where am I gonna put it? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it will sit there on my shelf. Maybe it's... No, no, not enough space there. I'll have to move the wife stuff. Honey! What? Can I have your shelf space? Yeah. You're gonna have to move your record player, honey. What? I need it for my metal hand. What metal? Boy, don't you dare touch that record player. I set it all up and even get moved up my toner. Mm. You leave one finger on that record. Okay, so I'm gonna put the hand on the shelf. And lastly, you get two magazines. In each magazine, it explains how to build them, which I'll show you in a sec. And that's everything you get in parcel one. We're gonna look at the magazines really quickly and then we're gonna build it. And then after that, I will explain some of the other things you can get with it. So let's snap on. Quick look at the magazine. So this is the Reality Stone one. Information about the company. At the movies, where the, well, where this idea all came from. So this is the assembly guide. Oh, one. So this is the first one I had shown you, the reality stone. It does explain to you what each part is. And then these are your instructions on how to put it together. I've never done this before, so this is the first time for me. So if you're a first timer, you can watch me f*** it up first and learn from my mistakes. So this is what this part's going to look like in the end. A few little tips there for you. And then a few parts of the, oh, some information from the comics. And issue two, we'll quickly go through that. I think I found that a little misprint they've made. Shows you here what part you're going to be building on. And it's the exact same as the first issue. It's meant to be the right side, not the left side. And then there's the instructions for that one. So after doing this, that's how it's going to end up looking. And more from the comics. Well, let's crack on with building it. Our first will be part one, and these are the parts we will be using. The hardest first step, we'll be attaching the, the lead circuit into the CO1 part. So just be careful lining up the battery thing with the section. Then we just want to screw in two screws. And that'll be it for this step. Step two. We'll be placing both springs on each side here and then place the reality stone on top of them. Hold them together like this. We're gonna place this part in like that. Make sure the little part that sticks out matches up with the other part. Then we add our two screws in, make sure they're tight. And that's this part done. Step three, it's quite simple. You wanna put your batteries in. I found placing two batteries in first and then placing the last battery in between those two and it slides in quite easily. Then put the back on and just make sure it is working. 
by pressing in the reality stone. Then we're just going to carry on screwing parts in like this. Quite simple, shouldn't be hard at all. Step 5 and 6, more screwing in on this part. This is just to protect our magnet, so more screws. And then let's test it to my hand, oh it's quite big isn't it? And let's put that reality stone in, oof, very nice. It is connected by magnets so you can exchange the batteries when they die. And it lights up quite nice. Let's move on to part 2. Step one, we are just repeating what we did. So get the second, it's a much bigger one this one. Line it up with the holes on the right and left. And then you want to screw in both screws. Be careful, it does feel like it can break. Step two is just adding the batteries. Repeat what I told you before. Screw it in. And then once again, we are adding even more screws to protect our magnets. Step 3 and 4, we're using part 1 again and adding some screws in. And then the same on the other hand. And for step 5, we are just connecting these two parts together like this. Make sure they're tightly secure and then we're just screwing in at the back 6 this time. And that is the end of this. Make sure it's all put together well. For now, this part isn't complete but you can see how it will look. Let's put our stone on top. It's really bright that one. And the reality stone. And that's how it looks for now. And that's the end of the building for this video. This is how it's looking so far. That's part one and two, but uh, I've already put this part in ready for the next part. Join me again for package two. We'll be getting four issues this time. Let me know if you like the way I'm making these videos. If there's anything you'd like me to change or you're happy the way it is. So join me next time for package two. I'm going to show you how I will store the magazines and how to build the next four issues. So join me then for when we carry on building our infinity gauntlet. I will snap you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.